This is a very special departure gate. The check-in desks are decorated with wreaths, dressed-up dogs are lounging by the gate, and there are snacks and drinks aplenty. This is far from an ordinary flight. It's United Airlines Fantasy Flight, part of a 30-year annual tradition. The airline takes over a hundred sick children and their families on a magical trip to a U.S. destination that is made up to look like the North Pole. This year, the North Pole was in New York. It's even special for the flight crew. Last year we went to the North Pole, so I was, I was uh, really excited by what I saw last year and, and uh, I called up my chief pilot begging to do this flight again. All these special boys and girls have been through a lot during their lives. Chemo in hospitals, medications and surgeries. But the whole idea on this day is to make sure they don't think about that. Trinity is only four. She has already gone through dozens of heart surgeries. She has never been on a plane and confesses she has never seen Santa. Does he look like a preacher, your father, doctor? She wants a dollhouse, she wants a kitchen set, and all the princess dolls. Yes, that's all she asked for. That's it. Just life. Just to spend life. That's it. Every moment I can with her. Because you never know. Fantasy Flight is a chance to distract the kids and their parents from the brutal reality of what they've been through, even though some have learned to smile as they talk about it. It was really a form of cancer that didn't really pr present with many symptoms, just a, a simple um, sinus infection that, you know, had us in a hospital that was, or it had us with the doctor, it wasn't going away. And then, so, you know, we pushed a little bit more and then we found out that, you know, what it is we needed to do. And, you know, together as a family, we've been pushing through. What is your biggest dream ever? For my cancer to be done and, and I don't have to look back at it. For a whole hour, the plane circled over Christmas in New York as kids listened to songs and poems and were made to believe that Santa and miracles do exist and are waiting for them at the North Pole. As they arrived at the gate, nothing gave away it was New York for a little while. Dispatchers and airline employees all turned into snowmen, gingerbread people and cartoon characters. The greeting made everyone, even adults, speechless. The head of the airport baggage department had the honor of playing Santa this year, signing every gift with the child's name. Last year, there was um, a very, very sick young boy, and he really, he really struggled to walk. And um, and when he saw Santa, he was able to kind of run. And that to me is, um, sorry, that to me is just an extraordinary special experience to be able to see and to visit with his family. And even if some passengers are too small to remember this flight later, they will have photographs galore, meeting Santa and for a little while believing in miracles. For Anna Nelson in New York, NRI's VOA News.